Back at the mock-up warehouse, some of the equipment that will be purchased with the funds is on display for staff members. One of the other rooms here in the mock-up is the post-anesthesia care unit, and I'm here with Chief of Staff, Dr. Lauren Martin. Lauren, tell me a little bit about why this new hospital is going to benefit Oakville. Well, Michelle, it's going to be a brand new hospital. We're going to have uh, all 80% private rooms in the hospital, which is going to help with infection control and privacy and dignity of our patients and also support uh, family members being able to be in the room, share care and, and support the patients when they're in the hospital. It's going to have brand new emergency department, outpatient departments. All these units are going to be bigger. They're going to also support privacy of patients and just a more comfortable care environment and we'll have more inpatient beds. So the hospital is going to be larger as well. So that means we won't have as many patients crowding in the emergency department. We're going to be able to improve our wait times in the emergency department. So just a huge number of enhancements for the community. One of the things we hear a lot about is that the way that care is delivered to the patients is changing. How is the new hospital going to benefit that? Well, for example, in the emergency department, the old model of care was everybody came in and kind of lined up in the order of registering in the department, and they were seen in that order. The more modern model of emergency department care is there are a number of different streams of patient care within that one unit. So the new department is designed to facilitate that. So our higher acuity patients, the ones that are most sick, will go to one area of the department. The very, very low acuity patients, what we call the walking wounded, will go to another area of the department. In each area, the, the um, patients don't have to wait for the patients in all the other areas to be seen. One of the things we ta I talked about earlier with Sylvia, who is the chief nursing officer, um, she talked about how involved the nurses were in getting a lot of the designs in the different rooms. How have the physicians been involved like, in that? Well, we've been at this for about 15 years, so we've had tremendous opportunity to participate in the design right from the earliest stages, which we call functional program planning, where we kind of scope out the size of the service and what services we're trying to deliver, right down to, in the last months, the detailed design of each room, right to where the sinks are, the where the stretcher is going to sit, and exactly what equipment is going to be in the room. So it's been a tremendous thing. The physicians have had a full opportunity to participate in the design of the hospital. There's a lot of there's a lot of equipment that goes into a hospital, and of course that's what this fundraiser or this this initiative is all about. What kind of what kind of equipment are we talking about when we talk about that? There's you know thousands of pieces that need to be purchased for a hospital. Well, it's everything from the stretchers in the rooms right to the big diagnostic pieces of equipment, which include CAT scans and MRs and what we call interventional radiology tables, which are a diagnostic imaging pieces of equipment where you can actually perform what used to be surgical procedures, to outfitting the operating rooms, to all the laboratory equipment, the blood pressure monitors, it goes on and on. We actually are going to be purchasing over 30,000 pieces of medical equipment for this new hospital. And that's one of, the, one of the reasons why this campaign is so important. Why do you think it's important for the community to get involved? Well, the most straightforward reason is that the government does not provide funding for the purchase of clinical equipment. This is something that is the responsibility of the local community. So we really rely on the support of our community to be able to buy this state-of-the-art equipment and to outfit this brand new hospital with all this brand new state-of-the-art equipment. So the support of the community is absolutely critical and I have to tell you it's been absolutely fantastic to this point.